So I do a lot, I, I like uh, most comedians, do a lot of traveling. We all talk about that. I was up in Wisconsin not long ago. I'm not here to brag, but yeah, it's exactly right. And so um, <laughs> people get super excited about that. And uh, I was up there to see my uncle who lives on a dairy farm uh, in Wisconsin. I don't know how he gets away with it, but um, <laughs> some sort of zoning snafu. And he, um, I get there, this is actually true, it's gonna be kind of sad, but he, I got there and he's all bummed out because his dog had just got ran over by the milk truck. And so that, I know, so exactly. Some of you felt bad and some of you laughed. Um, <laughs> because you're similar to me, because it sounds like a joke. I mean, I didn't find that out that it wasn't until later, but at the time, I thought it was a joke because it has the rhythm of a joke. Dog got ran over the milk truck, or like a song you might sing during the holidays or something, but. Um, <laughs> So I just went with it. I'm like, oh, that's a good one. I didn't really get it, but I'm like, that's funny. I mean, what are the chances of that happening? Like, 2%? And I didn't, I didn't, you know what? I know now. I know. He was not pleased. He was not pleased. Turns out that's not, not cool. He was very upset by that, but we, we worked it out. We had a great time. We went over to the uh, farmer's tanning booth, had a blast, and we just uh, stuck in our arms for a little while. It was great, and... It's for my FFA people, and so if you're wearing blue corduroy tonight, <laughs> here you go. Blue corduroy, it's so rocket chips. I just love it, it's just, it's like, it goes with everything. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.